welcome back to my healing room. My name is Penny Altersky. I'm a Reiki master teacher, crystal healer, angel therapist. I work with crystals and the angels, and I am working with you today. Now, I've been running a number of angel workshops recently, introducing people to the angels, how they work, how they can work in your life, how you can learn to work with them and to talk to them and to get those really vital messages from them that a lot of us seem to miss on a daily basis. But in order to work more with the angels, in order to work more with people, if you are a therapist, it is vital that we remove any fears that we might have in dealing with people, in dealing with the angels. We are human beings and along with that comes the ego. Now the ego is very important because we need to acknowledge that it is there. It comes about when we really need to get involved and to do some serious work. It is that little fraction of, of us that can lead to fears, fears deep within ourselves that we're not good enough, that we can't do it, that there's no way I would be able to do that. Why would I be able to do that? It's limiting behavior but we allow it to happen time and time again. It's human nature. But we need to learn to put those fears aside, to put that limiting behavior behind us so that we can work in the light, so that we can hear what our angels are telling us. We can see what they're showing us. We can feel what they want us to feel. We can connect. We need that universal connection and as soon as we put a label to it and say we're afraid or we're not good enough or we can't do it or that it's just something we've never found that we could do. Other people can do it. Why can't, I can't do it. As soon as we put that label to it, it seems to turn the switch off. That what we were doing before on the spiritual side, all of a sudden just doesn't seem to work in the same way. We've blocked it. Now, to be able to work with the ego, we need to acknowledge that it's there. So that's step one. We know it's there. We know what it can do to us. We know how it can affect us. And with that knowledge, armed and ready with that knowledge, when we feel that it's starting to kick in and it's starting to make us fear or doubt or limit, we need to be able to say, nope, I need to remove that. I need to ask the angels to remove that ego. To put it on pause for a moment so that I can do the work that I've been sent here to do. I can share, I can heal, I can teach. All with the assistance of the angels. Another learning that comes from that statement is anything is possible with the angels. We can ask anything, and if it is for our greater good, so be it. They will move heaven and earth, literally, to bring it to us. And that's the way they work. They work in love, they work in peace. They are honest with us. They hardly ask anything of us, except for us to trust them. And once we put that trust and faith in them, they help us to move those mountains out the way. They help us to remove that limiting behavior they help us to see what true potential each and every one of us has if we just take a moment to believe in ourselves. I would like to start with a meditation. I would like to call on the Archangels to come forward and to work with each and every one of you watching this clip. I would like them to step forward and to help me teach you about removing those fears, about washing them clean, removing those limitations and to just truly be who you are meant to be, ready and willing to move on to that life path that has been predetermined for you that is there in front of you like a red carpet, waiting for you to take center stage.